Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel DJ and Kid. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you three of my top metaverse plays and these are projects which I'm accumulating on. Um, I'm bullish on. I've talked about, I guess, one or two of them before as well. And yeah, guys, I'm literally loading up on these projects. So just wanted to bring it to your attention with um, Apple launching their mixed reality headset yesterday. It's definitely going to be, you know, sooner or later, sooner rather than later that the metaverse narrative really, really explodes. Um, yeah, so we'll take a look at those projects and let's just take a look at the market as a whole first. So let's get straight into it. So the market at the moment is actually up 3%, 3% in the last 24 hours, which is amazing considering that with this, there's been a lot of noise and news around the SEC coming out, suing the likes of Binance and Coinbase and... Um, you know, saying projects like Solana and um, ICP and so on are securities. And there's just been a lot of FUD, a lot of fear in the market. But I feel like the way the market's responding right now, it's um, we've kind of seen the worst of it already. If this was a couple of months ago or maybe, you know, six months ago, the market would have tanked. But literally right now, all of this noise and news is coming out and the market is like, you know, just pushing that to one side and continuing to do what it needs to do. So overall, pretty good day in the market so far, um, despite all of the, the FUD and the fear and the news that's been coming out. Um, just sort this by top 24 hours. We can see tokens that are pumping, Lido, Pepe, a lot of coins that are up here, Optimism, Carver, Casper as well, which is doing well. And if we just sort this by top 24 um, hours, um, for the uh, top losers in the top 100, we can see a lot of these coins down. So Polygon, which was also one of the um, tokens that SEC was saying is a security. Render um, is um, is down 0.7%, Leo and so on. So there's a little bit of, I guess, a little bit of red in the market today um, out of the top 100. But overall, seems to be, be a pretty bullish, overall pretty bullish day in the market, to be honest. So... Yeah, still doing pretty well. Okay, so in terms of the projects that I wanted to talk to you guys about, so my top three metaverse plays, the first project that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and I've talked about it numerous times before, and you guys know I absolutely love this one, it is Render. So let's take a look at Render and see how it's performing today. Obviously, I just kind of um, showed you the last 24 hours. It was down slightly. So let's take a look and see. So... Currently down 0.7% in the last 24 hours, trading at $2.44. And um, a couple of days ago, this was up around $2.60. So it's had a bit of a drop, a bit of a dip, I guess, after the, um, you know, the, um, I guess, the news of Apple launching their headset and so on, because obviously that would have worked as a kind of buy the rumor, sell the news type of event. So yeah, this has come down slightly, trading at $2.44. And guys, you know I'm mega bullish on Render. It's it's a token that I've been accumulating and I guess talking about for some time as well. So if you take a look at the all-time high, $8.78. Come the next bull run, I, I, you know, I truly believe we'll be smashing that absolutely out of the park and doing really, really well. Take a look at the Render website um, just to kind of see what it offers distributed gpu rendering on the blockchain so the render token is a so it's a crypto project that aims to create a decentralized gpu rendering network and um it's an erc20 token and it's used to pay for gpu compute power on the render network so the likes of artist studios um and and you know any kind of i guess any kind of players within that space can use the render network to I guess, render 3D animations um, and other graphics as well. So overall, it's pretty, pretty bullish, especially from a metaverse perspective. And here you can see the narrative rendering the metaverse. And just to add to that as well, some of the partnerships are, you know, the best out there, pretty much partnership with, or partnerships with Apple and Microsoft and, um, and the list pretty much is endless. So this is a project that I'm mega bullish on. And guys, I've talked about this before, so hopefully you did get in when um, when when I initially start talking about the project. But if you haven't, you know this is definitely a long term, a long time, and a long term play for me anyway. So just take a look at the take a look at the project if you haven't done so already. 
and um yeah just see if it's if it's in your kind of buying zone at the moment but overall for me it looks pretty good and um guys obviously nothing that i say is financial advice as well so yeah that was the kind of first project that i wanted to talk about today the other project that i wanted to talk about from a metaverse perspective was wilder world so let's bring that up so these guys have been absolutely smashing it of late and again it's kind of come off the back end of that whole um narrative of um apple launching their headset and so on here you can see it's down 14 percent in the last 24 hours so a bit of a pullback good opportunity to buy if you missed you know that buying opportunity um in the last seven days it's up 18 percent and in the last 30 days it's up 55 percent so if we take a look and see i guess what wild world are offering let's load this up here let's load up the website so a new dimension of reality let's just get get rid of this render website so one second okay so metaverse market you can see a little bit there it's taking a bit of time loading okay so what is it so basically it's a fully immersive 5d experience that allows users to explore create and interact with each other in um, i guess in a variety of ways it's a full-on metaverse and the metaverse looks absolutely amazing i mean you know 5d experience that's never been kind of even touched upon before and these guys are looking to bring that in into their metaverse so overall it looks absolutely amazing um so the 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 token or the ticker for um wilder world is the token is wild so if we take a look here we can see the ticker is wild um and that's used to purchase land assets services and you know all sorts that relate to the metaverse but here we can see here some of the graphics um you can see a trailer as well um and just kind of what i touched upon wild world is an immersive 5d metaverse built on ethereum unreal engine 5 and 0 so yeah these guys are absolutely building something that's never been seen before so when we talk about the you know the likes of a metaverse this is the sort of stuff that we want to see um i know there's sandbox as well sandbox metaverse is is pretty pixelated you know it's kind of you know working with those blocks this is just kind of full-on slick graphics and you can see that all there as well guys obviously take a look at the website and do some research yourself and see if this project is for you but overall from my point of view um yeah i'm mega bullish on this for the longer term especially once that metaverse narrative really kicks in again with the within the ball run okay so let's get rid of that so lastly the i guess the final project that i wanted to talk to you guys about uh, metaverse related is ovr so here we can see that currently trending rank 637 in terms of um overall crypto market cap so pretty low down the list market cap is only 23 million so it's down 8.4 percent trading at 46 cents rank 600 629 as i was just saying max supply so not too many tokens 89 million this is a real good buy all-time high three dollars and 33 cents um last 30 days up 58 percent obviously we've had that drop now based on um i guess the um you know the apple news coming out and being uh, more of a buy the rumor sell the news type of event but overall yeah this looks absolutely amazing so if we load up the the website and just see what it has to offer so ovr if you're wondering ovr stands for over the reality and um and yeah you know it's a decentralized augmented um reality ar platform that allows users to create share and experience ar content so let's just get this loaded up it's taking a bit of time okay so we've got to do the whole verification thing and so on let's bring that up right well, okay so the future ar metaverse is here so this is absolutely huge um so the ovr platform it's built on ethereum blockchain uses the ovr token as its native currency and um the um the token is used to purchase things like land build your own avatar and you can just explore the metaverse it looks it looks yeah it looks great there you can see snips of like you know playing basketball in a metaverse going to the zoo or whatever um yes it's absolutely it's absolutely amazing what they're building there 
and um, yeah as I was saying the token the ticker is OVR and um, you can use that to purchase land governance and also participate in any type of AR experience that I guess OVR is um, is offering um, and here you can see a little bit about the latest news over avatars powered by artificial intelligence so got that kind of AR AI um, narrative as well kicking in AI avatars are live um, yeah and you can see land that's been sold token spent and so on and there's also the OVR token burning mechanism it looks like there as well um, NFTs and so on but yeah guys this is a this is a project which is absolutely amazing and has been trending on CoinGecko for some time now I don't know if you guys have spotted it when you've been doing your research but to me this is a great project so guys yeah those were my three top projects for the metaverse or my top three picks that i'm absolutely loading up on and um, accumulating especially whilst we've got a bit of a pullback in the market so guys obviously nothing that i say is financial advice hit me up on the comments below let me know what you're buying and um, hit that like hit that subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video peace out